more than 600,000 people in the UK have age-related macular degeneration. It causes central vision loss, making it blurred and distorted. Is that one C? No, that's not C. That wasn't C, that was a D. Eli Hussein has the wet form of AMD. Its progress can be halted with costly injections, but there's no cure. If I have to read something, there is this little white cloud in my eye that I have to struggle sometimes. If, even when I read a book, I have to, uh, but I get on with it fine. Under the microscope, these are the specialised eye cells being used in the pioneering treatment, originally derived from a donated early embryo smaller than a pinhead. They were seeded onto a tiny patch like this and injected into the eye of an anonymous 60-year-old female patient who'd lost her sight because of AMD. We won't know until at least Christmas how well her vision uh, is and how long that may be maintained. We can see that they're actually under the retina where they should be and that they appear at present to be healthy. This trial will involve 10 patients who will be monitored for a year to assess the safety of the stem cell treatment and whether their vision improves. The scientists have spent more than a decade on this ambitious project, which, if successful, would help patients with both the wet and dry forms of AMD. What we're hoping to do is reconstruct the macula so you don't have the disease. And this is a different way of doing this. This is the first time we feel we're actually delivering a treatment to try and cure, as it were, the disease itself. Eli Hussein has regular, costly injections to halt the progress of wet AMD. We don't know how much the stem cell treatment would cost in comparison or when it might be available, but if it works, it would be a stunning medical advance.